G'day, g'day. Um, look, I'll keep this short and sweet. This is a bop bop a lily bop bop a lily theme music. Lily bop bop a lily bop bop a lily bop bop a lily. Captain Australian News update. Boom boom. How you doing? Uh, so I'm currently leaning against a tree with my pack and taking my ease. Let me, sorry, put on my old man spectacles so if you make a comment I can read and respond. Um, so I've left Ulladulla and uh, the brain cells destroyed overnight are slowly recuperating I guess. So I'm just now uh, leaning against a tree and uh, drinking a bit of lemonade. Not making great time. Uh, people keep pulling over and saying g'day which is absolutely lovely. Don't regret a second of it. But it means I've only come about 5k or so so far. So I'd like to go to bed tonight at the halfway point I reckon. And when I started it was 53k from the Marlin Hotel to Batemans Bay. So ideally I would like to camp tonight somewhere around the 25k mark. But we're running out of time Captain Australia so you've got to get up off your bum and get moving. Cruising Susan says woohoo Captain keep on plotting. I will my friend. Andrew says hiya Cap how are the new shoes? They are great. Let me give you a quick look. So that's the boots. They are not the same as the boots that I started with, but they are sturdy, thick tread, and the tread is helping. So they haven't sprung in yet. That little bit you see now at the back, there's a little plate there that digs into your Achilles, uh, you know, your Achilles tendon. So it just scrapes the skin a little bit, uh, but that's fine. So I've got a little injury that'll heal up. Just got to spring the boots in. I've had some advice about different products to help fast track that including human urine which I will not be trying uh, <coughs> pardon me I do not have COVID I have a problem with the radiation treatments that I had where I no longer produce saliva like a normal person so sometimes when I talk the dry mouth aggravates me glug glug so the key is to stay moisturized in the inside the throat that sounds weird so anyway, uh, in five minutes or less, I'll get up, put this massive pack on my back, and uh, keep on walking. Ideally, I would like to sleep at the midway point between here and Batemans Bay, and it's all Captain Australia's big walk, Brisbane to Melbourne, Old Buffet, for the Kids Cancer Project. So the Kids Cancer Project, what is that? If you are a newcomer, it is, uh, the no it is about the 950 kids every year diagnosed with paediatric cancer. My earbuds just failed. I hope you can still hear me. Just They just said power off. So I hope you can still hear me through the natural phone, uh, phone microphone. Um, but yeah, it's 950 kids diagnosed every year and it's about research into lowering those numbers. So 20% um, of the kids diagnosed do not survive. That's three kids every week dying of pediatric cancer. Terrible. Met some kids affected. Thank you, Susan. Met some kids affected today. Uh, lovely, lovely, lovely kids. Um, and it's my privilege and my honor. So let's have a look comment. Kitty says, G'day Cap, enjoy your day. Glad to see you're meeting some lovely people on your trek. Yeah, I've been trying to collect them for you, like, um, you know, like Pokemons. Got to catch them all. So every time somebody shows me a uh, kindness or even just to say G'day, you give them a little bit of a cuddle. Take a photo so I can share it with you all. Um, Kelso, G'day Captain, all the best. Cheers Kelso, G'day, how are you? Mary Lou, hello from Mary Lou Odd Socks Turner. Okay, <laughs> g'day Mary Lou, how you doing? What's the Odd Socks? Is that is that your nickname? Uh, is that because you know you don't you've lost all of the pairs of socks and now you just have a bunch of individual socks that you have pair up and they're all Odd Socks, or is is it your actual nickname, mate? Um, or is it your actual name? In any case, uh, yeah, sorry, so it's uh, Captain Australia's big walk for the Kids Cancer Project. I'm a wee bit hungover because I haven't had beer in a long time and I had about eight or nine at the Ulladulla Marlin Hotel. And thank you to that hotel for their hospitality. If you want to positively review bomb them and say, thanks for hosting Captain Australia, it would be a good deed. And I think it creates this sort of stepping stone, stone footprint for the big walk as well. Sonia says, haha, got to catch them all, love it, your own live version of Pokemon. It is, but it's like, you know, Pokemon kindness instead of Pokemon Ultra or whatever. Uh, so anyway, yeah, all good, feeling good, all is well. 
and I better keep moving along while there's still day to keep moving in. So I've only got really six hours of walking to do. At a, at a good speed though, it could cover a fair amount of distance and I think I'm starting to get away from the population centers so I won't get stopped as much. So let's try and get some Ks done, people. I'll update you later. You'll be in Melbourne in no time. No, I'll be in Melbourne in bloody, oh, I don't know. I'd like to think no later than the second week of March, but at this point I really don't know. And I guess it doesn't matter. I don't want to abbreviate this journey. I want to, I want to do it heart, soul, body, all of it proper. I don't want to muck it around. I don't want to let anybody down. I want to do it right. So, you know, I'm not going to rush it out. Kelso, these boots are made for walking and that's just what they'll do. And one of these days, these boots are going to be auctioned off to you. <laughs> <laughs> for a couple of hundred grand, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, anything to help kids cancer. <coughs> I guess that's the beauty of switching out my boots. They can, they can auction them off twice. Sorry about this. Glug, glug, chug, chug. You're doing great. Keep it up, says Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. Looking forward to catching you later on tonight once you've set up. I will. Um, I'll do a proper stream, have a proper chat. So, all the very best. Oh yeah, the boots that did the walking. Yep, I'll sign these bad boys as well and we'll see if we can auction them, auction them off for the charity. Once I get to Melbourne, um, you know, hopefully when I get there, there'll be like a bunch of people watching. Like, to, it's I've been weird. There's this bubble of awareness from Nowra through Ulladulla and beyond. I think it's all the local radio or something like there's just something that stimulated a higher a higher level of awareness so every second car beep 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 captain australia yeah woo! i love it it's it's so awesome it's like it's like if i were i don't know i don't know it's like beatlemania or something everybody knows captain australians yelling out the name and all the rest it's great I pass through Sydney and there's three people. I pass through here and it's like, it's everybody and it's lovely. So I hope by the time I get to Melbourne, there's, there's you know, a high level of awareness and support because really it just, it's lovely for the charity and the charity is an important and worthy cause. Uh, David asks, how far out of Ulladala are you? I prefer not to think about it, mate, because it's already getting towards two in the afternoon. I think I'm only 5k out, my friend. So I want to do at least another 20 or even 25K before I take my rest. Um, so it's a bit of a low energy day after all my beers last night. I have, uh, I have now to, to galvanize, show you that I came to play, superhero up, cape up for cancer and all of that sort of stuff. Can't lay here forever. So I'm gonna kill the stream and get moving. Um, but I'll answer your questions first. Catherine says, are you flying home? Whereabouts are you walking to in Melbourne? So Catherine, for me, the, the end point is Federation Square. So I get there, I fall to my knees, I start sobbing, I kiss the ground like the Pope getting off an airplane, uh, and just bang, you know. I'm here, I did it. And after that, will I fly home? Yeah, probably, I might rent a car, I don't know. It really just, I only plan a couple of days ahead, so that's part of the adventure still, even just the getting home part. So I don't know exactly how I'm, how I'm gonna do it. Um, Sonia says, people are more aware of what's going on in those smaller towns than the busy craziness of Sydney. Yeah, that's a good point, Sonia. I think you are doing very well considering your beers last night. Well, thank you. I, I am grateful for your forgiveness. Now, I've met a bunch of lovely people. I've uploaded, uploaded photos of them, um, sweet, kind, friendly, lovely, intelligent people, great questions, great, you know, insights. There were there was a couple who've retreated from Canberra just to get just to get away from Canberra for a couple of weeks because apparently there's a bunch of like ugly protests going on, on there. There's police involved. The protesters of different groups are arguing among themselves and it's all just, you know, I, I don't know, I guess I don't want to criticize it. I, I, I mean, we all should have a right to protest when we think there's something going wrong in society, but it's not, I don't, I don't get the impression from what they were saying that it's very coherent and that, it's, that it has a clear and deliberate purpose. So you think about Gandhi, you know, one hunger protest could change the world, but then you got all the sign waving and yelling and spitting and, and 
you know, oh, I'm better than you and you're a dickhead. It's all, a, it's all combative and adversarial, which is the problem. So when you, when you protest government, I don't think you need to be calling anybody a bad name. You're meant to call out the policies that are problematic. You're meant to call out why they are. And you're meant to sort of explain that position. So this is wrong because it's unconstitutional. You cannot take these people who have come here seeking asylum and imprison them, especially children or blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever, whatever it is, you assert it and you stand there on the steps of Parliament House and you say, I'm not moving until you, you know, we get some kind of an undertaking that there'll be a commission or whatever. I'm going to, I will starve. I will stand here and starve until you recognize this problem. But instead you get combat, you get police fighting people. So then our police who are just good people trying to do their jobs, they come across as stormtroopers and the government is dystopian. I don't think the government is necessarily evil, just stupid. You know, stupid and clumsy, that's my personal view, you know? Uh, so, you know, do you protest the stupid and clumsy by being stupid and clumsy? No, you, you get better. Anyway, sorry, old man ramble, old man ran. I reckon that the, um, the cure for a lot of our problems in society is simple. Daily kindness in your community. It ripples through everything, you know? You're sweet and kind to your neighbor they are sweet and kind to their neighbor. And slowly things get better. We remind ourselves of our better selves. You know, that's the path forward. Not, not all of this sign waving, hair pulling and scurrying about. Yeah, anyway, that's just me, my view. Don't be offended by it. I don't know everything or anything much really, but we all should be allowed, I think, to share our view. And we all should try and kind of learn from each other. Instead of all this, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> sorry, Sonia says, when we are all kind, we are able to care for all. I think kindness is just something that lifts us all up, all of us. It is the antidote to all of the other stuff, the rage, the fear, the isolation. Hmm. Anyway, I met a guy today who, um, you know, I won't name him in case, because then, then that might embarrass him somehow. But this chap, he had gone through some profound mental health issues. We met by the side of the road, had a lovely chat. And he's an he's a incredibly impressive young man, you know. He's younger than me, but his life has had such darkness and pain in it. Uh, he had, as a result of that, made multiple attempts to kill himself, to take his own life. And he's risen, hey, g'day. He's risen completely above it. So like me, he found the strategy for him to put all the darkness in the rear view mirror and move forward, you know. And I, I just, I found that so uplifting and inspiring. This guy who, who, had, who had been in so much pain that he felt the only answer was to end it all. And now he's living this joyful life, this positive life. And it has been for a year. He's just completely turned it all around. So good on him. So I think those examples of kindness and hope lift us all up anyway. Uh, so yeah, uh, am I just babbling to make an excuse not to get walking? Get up and get walking, old man. Oh, sesame snaps. People keep giving me food. I'm going to get up, keep walking, gobble my sesame snaps and make some case. All the best. Take care of yourselves. Sonia says, truly believe the essence of life is love and that kindness is the action of love. That scary place is terrifying. What scary place? Are we talking about a metaphorical or a literal scary place? If you're talking about Canberra, <laughs> well, I don't know. It's probably a nice enough city, but as the seat of our governmental power and in the dystopia that we live in, I guess it is a scary place. Ricky says, keep on keeping on, bud. I will, my friend, yeah. So time to get up. Can the old man sit up? Yes, the old man can sit up. Come on, look at that. Look at that. Now this pack, this is a heavy pack. Hi from Harvey Bay, geez, that's some distance away. How are you feeling today, mate, says Tiara. I am, yep, I am feeling great. So there's my gear. Let me pop this drink in my little side pocket. So this is, uh, this is what a, uh, whoops, low battery. Okay, better plug into the juice. This is what an unfinished bottle of thingo looks like on Captain Australia. 
<coughs> pardon me. Oops, I think someone's come to say hello over there. I better go and say hello. Um, all right, so I'm going <coughs> to take a sip to get that mouth lubricated again. Fare you well, all the best, and uh, off for Batemans Bay. Want to put in some Ks. So, Captain Australia's big walk, take care of yourselves.